Oh, what time did she ask if you could if you watch? I believe it was like around five, six o'clock. Okay. And did you? Yes, sir. Okay. And tell me about that. She she left the house, I'm assuming, sometime around that afternoon? Yes, sir. She I would say about like around five, six o'clock. That afternoon she left. And Anybody else there to take care of Christina? No, sir. Just you? Mm-hmm. Had you taken care of Christina before? No, sir. This was on what day? This, the, the oh, second. second. Yes, sir. What day was that? A Friday. Did you see Rita Fangalang again? Not until Sunday afternoon. After she went on a date with Larry, did she say, I'm gone and I'll be back Monday or anything like that? She said that she texted me later that night to check on Christina. I would say about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And then she said um, she would be back the next morning on Saturday to go grocery shopping and stuff like that. But she never came. And um, Were there groceries in the house? No, sir. Just the insured drinks? Mm-hmm. And I think there was a pitcher of Kool-Aid in there, maybe in the fridge. All right. So did she come back the next day? That no, would be, sir. I guess, Saturday. Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. Saturday. Did she come back Saturday? Mm-mm. No, sir. Did you call in? Uh, no, sir. Rita came up to me and had asked me if I could watch her. I had let her know that I had to go into work for a few hours. And she kept asking me over and over. And finally, when the answer didn't change, it was no, obviously. Um, she told me to leave Christina in my car with the windows down because she does it all the time. Leave on a Friday, come back on a Sunday, leave her with a babysitter, doesn't know how to take care of your child. And you've got nothing in, at the house but Kool-Aid? Okay, now let's get to the day of the alleged murder. We've got video of the whole thing taking place. It starts at 11.16 when she puts her daughter with her boyfriend, carrying her from inside the home in the middle of the day. 11.16. Oh, where should we stick her? Let's stick her in the back of the car. What? What? Why? Are you going? They're not even going anywhere. Now it's 1230. Oh, maybe we should check and see how she's doing. In the sun. In the car. Like, why are you putting your, your child out in the car while you're home? Now here they are from 145 to 2 o'clock on the stoop. You've got her and the boyfriend. What are they, like, the, the child's in the car. Can you get her out? Oh, no, let's kiss a little bit. What, what, put my, where, what is he doing? Where is him? What are they doing? Like groping each other on the, on the porch? How about taking care of the special needs child that you have instead of leaving her locked in the car? This is gross. This is gross. I don't even know if you want to, you, you definitely don't want to see this. But this is the evidence in the case. And it goes on and on and on. Five and a half hours. Christina died in that hot car. The family, Rita. You can't have a seat right here in this chair for me, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, if at any point you need anything, you just let me know. You can say it if we're listening, okay? So if you need a restroom, you need something to drink, a whatever. I don't have any of those. I'm talking about things that make you, you know, that you need to live. I am. <laughs> oh, God, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God, oh my baby, my baby, my baby girl, my baby girl. Let me get you some tissue. You got tissue on it? Let me get you some, okay? 
What you need? I'm gonna have this. I can't believe that happened to my baby. I know. We're gonna sit down and talk about it in just a few minutes, okay? I did everything right. Okay. Let me get you some tissue, okay? Be right back. Yes, please. Hello. I want to see you. I want to see my baby. 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 I want to hold my baby. I want to hold my baby. I know. I know. We're going to sit down and talk about it in just a few minutes, okay? I'm sorry. I mm-hmm. could the air conditioner oh, my Lord. Mm-hmm. Just sit down and, and just try to breathe and relax a little bit, okay? Oh. You don't have to sit down, I can't sit down. No man, that's okay. I'll be back in a couple minutes, okay? A few minutes. If you need anything, just knock on the door. Okay. Oh my God! No! 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 Baby girl, my baby girl. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! She suffered. She suffered so much. She she suffered. She suffered. Free, you have your cell phone? Uh, it's in my car. So, so you left your license and everything in the car now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm so I can go to my car. Okay, that's right. You're, you're right. Okay. Car. Oh, this one. Where my daughter? Oh, my daughter, my baby girl, my baby girl, my baby girl. No, 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 no,
please God, please. Oh my God, please hurry up. Please, please. Oh my daughter, that's my daughter. My beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, she was so beautiful. She was so beautiful. It's hot. It's hot. Come here, let go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't need a wheelchair man no more. Oh my God. I don't want a wheelchair man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, God, help me, my baby, my baby, oh, my baby, my baby, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful baby girl, oh, my baby, oh, my baby, 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 I need you, I need you, I need you, God, please help me, oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, god, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no, no, no. No. Oh my god, no, 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 baby, no, baby, no, baby, no, no, Christina, Christina, oh my god, oh, 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 Please somebody, please come talk to me. Somebody come talk to me. Somebody come talk to me. Somebody come talk to me. Please come talk to me. I want my baby girl. I want my baby girl. I need her. I need her. I need her so much. Oh, oh my God. She's the one. She taught me so much. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh my baby, I need, I need Christina, my baby, my baby, my baby, oh my God, oh my God, help me, please God help me, oh I want my baby, I need my baby, my baby. No, no. Just don't know what to do. Why you not going to 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 Why you why did I bust out that window? Why did I bust out the window? Why did I? Why did I try to get it open myself? Why did I bust out that window? I got air conditioner on. Jump on, which she should have been okay. Oh, she should have been okay. Oh my God, I should have. She should be okay. She should be on margin guard to me right now. Rita, why don't you sit down in front of me and relax a minute? Okay. I understand your I'm sorry. I didn't even realize I did. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Just try to relax a little bit, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't realize 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 I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no,
did not but why, why God, why, why did you take her? Why, why her? Why her? No, why her? Why, why my baby? You take her, God. Why did you take my baby? And she was so pure. She was so pure. Uh, uh, How can how can I be so stupid? I was so so stupid. How can I be so stupid? How can I be so stupid? How can I be so stupid? So stupid. So stupid. Stupid. I was so fucking stupid. So stupid. How did the game car get lost? How could I be so stupid? How could I be so stupid? Why is it? Why was I so stupid? I was so stupid. How could I be so stupid? Oh my god. Oh my god. How could I be so stupid? So, 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 uh, so, so stupid. So, so stupid. So stupid. How could I be so stupid? Huh? I killed my daughter. I killed my daughter. I was, oh my God, how can I be so stupid? 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 How? How can I? So stupid! 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 How can I be so stupid? Oh my God! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, so stupid. Oh my God. Please help me, Lord. Please help me. Please help me, Lord. Yeah. It's so cold, so cold. She's so cold. My baby's so cold. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. My baby is so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so Oh my God, have mercy on my soul. Oh my God. Please, please. Please, God, please, please. Okay, calm down. Oh, man. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. Mama, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't in time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I wasn't in time to help you. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh,
Oh my God. Why don't you explain to me the details leading up to why we're here today? I put my daughter in the back seat of the car. Oh, well, back up. What? Back on up. Uh-huh. Putting her in the car. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I want to know. Start, start from, you picked her up from the babysitters. Uh, well, when, when did you pick her up from the babysitters? Uh, last night. Okay. Oh, uh, no. The babysitter didn't have, the babysitter had her. Today's Monday. Um, Today's Monday, yes. No, I'm sorry. Today's okay. Monday. Um, I had a babysitter spend the night at my house Sunday night. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, Saturday night. I got a Sunday. We um went to Larry's last night, spent the night, packed us a little overnight bag and stuff like that. And um, we were coming home today. And I was going to... I, 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 I cranked up the car. Mm-hmm. I called the air conditioner. And I, I, I opened the back door. My He closed the door. I went in the house to get, to, to get my cigarette band. And um, when I come out, all four of the doors are locked. Mm-hmm. I was accidentally. I, that's never happened before. Mm-hmm. All four of the doors locked. You know, didn't think it was a big deal at first. Larry got little wedgy things and a close air and he's trying to get open. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to open. I have a spare set of keys in my house and the air conditioner was on. The air conditioner was on. So I didn't think it was up. And she was asleep. And Larry went to go get the keys and he brought them back. And when he went there, I locked the door. And the tag on, Bob was dead, but he broke the thing. He, got, he called Stokes. He called Stokes. Lock and key. They told us how to open it with the Bob thing. And she was gone. I thought the air conditioner was on. And I kept looking in the window at her. And she was sleeping. And she was sleeping. She didn't. And I would have busted that window out. I would have busted that window out. And I knew she was in her struggle. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why. But that could have been the one. And I got in the car. I picked her up. She had a moment. She had a seizure. And I was like, I don't know her leg. I mean, like, but, but the air conditioner was on. Okay, you gotta speak up. I'll be over here. The air conditioner was on. Okay. The front part, the, the, the front part of the car was cool, but the back part wasn't. The back part wasn't. And she just, I would watch, she just looked like she was sleeping. She looked like she was sleeping. Okay, so let's back it up. So you're saying, then, if I understood you correctly now, you're saying that you left, you would get ready to leave Larry, so you yeah, spent the night. Yeah, and okay. Christine and I were going home. You spent the night, okay. Where did Christine sleep? She's, she slept on the couch. We bet for the little, on, on, make a little bed for her. Okay. On the couch. So she slept on the couch. Yes, sir. So Y'all slept, slept in the bed. In the bedroom, yes, sir. Okay, what time did you go to bed? Oh, about 11, 12 o'clock. 11, 12 o'clock? She was bed by So she was asleep when y'all went to bed? Yes. Okay. How'd you sleep last night? Yeah, sleep. How'd you sleep? Fine. Did you sleep fine? You went to bed at 11. Did you go to sleep? Yes, sir. You did? Yes, okay. Sir. How about Larry? Yeah, I'm sure he did, yes, sir. Okay. So you got up this morning. She was fine. Got her up. Got her dressed. What time were you? What time were y'all? Changed her diaper. You know, um, gave her a cup of pee sure. Uh-huh. You know, same morning. Same morning routine. Same morning routine. Okay. Then what? We packed everything up. Okay. Okay. So you packed everything up. I mean, I put I plugged my cell phone up in the charger. You know, right, right up the car with my cell in the charger and everything. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I had the back door open and closed the back door. Okay. So you got your car started. Larry carried her out. 
Put her in the car. Which side do you put her in? Driver's side back. Driver's side back. Okay. Did you buckle her in? He did buckle her in. But she, she, she was asleep. So I sat her up. So he buckled her up, but then laid her down on the on the seat on to the passenger side. Okay. Okay. And then you made you said you made sure the air conditioner was running, and you got up, and then you went back in the house, right, to get your cigarette pack. How long were you in the house? No more than two or three minutes. Okay, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. If this conversation is going to go, then you're going to have to tell me the truth. I'm telling you. I've already talked to Larry. I already know details. I already listen to me. I already know details. And if you're going to start lying to me, this ain't going to work. We. How long were you in that house? Five, ten minutes. I don't know, sir. I don't know. I, I poured some goulet, did some goulet. Okay, stop. I, I don't know. Okay. When was the last time you used narcotics? Uh, narcotics. Yes. I took that Adderall yesterday no. morning. When was the last time you used methamphetamine? No, I don't use methamphetamine. I've never okay, used no, methamphetamine. Note that we just drew labs, and when those labs are tested, methamphetamine is going to come back in your system. They shouldn't. Well, I know they shouldn't. No, no, sir. I smoke cigarettes. I, I, I'm on a strong antibiotic right now. Uh, antibiotics not going to. I'm telling you what I'm taking. Okay, that's fine. So you're on an antibiotic. You don't do don't do use methamphetamine. No, sir. Not at all. No, sir. It's not going to come back in your system, right? It should not come back. So you didn't use last night. That's what I thought. No answer is a yes answer. I ain't talking about Adderall. I'm talking about methamphetamine. And you put it in your coffee last night. I didn't know that's what it was. I wasn't sure what it was. I, I thought... Don't... Yes, ma'am. I'm not in the mood. I wasn't sure what it was. You're not sure what it was. You you have a master's degree. You're an intelligent person. You're more intelligent than you're playing right now. Okay? You're not stupid. You know what methamphetamine is. I do know what it is, but I tried it. But I, I mean, it was, I wasn't like. Your daughter is so dependent on you. I know that. Listen to me. Your daughter is so dependent on you. And you're doing methamphetamine while she's in the next room? No, sir. No. Don't mess on me. When you say meth, I thought smoking. Because I've never been mad. I wasn't sure what was in it. I lied to you. You're about to see the ugly side of me. Right at this point, just know this. I do not care what happens to you at this point. All I'm worried about is there's a dead 12-year-old no, child. No, I know. What do you mean, no? I know, I know. Now, I want straight, listen to me. I want straight answers right now. Okay? I know. I am. Tell me if I'm wrong. I know that you and Larry had a little disagreement over you having an affair. Correct? Correct. Okay, yeah, we had an argument. I know he asked you to leave. Correct? And he would call you later today. Yeah, and I, and I was leaving. Let me finish. I know that he put her in the car. You turned the car on. I don't know whether you turned the air conditioner on, but you I say did. did. I did you do that. Cause, I did come okay. the air conditioner. So then you go back into the house. And you and him sit in there for two hours. Oh, no, it was not two hours. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'll tell you what, an autopsy is going to tell me tomorrow. Okay? okay? Yes, sir. Tomorrow? Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Anyway, you were in that house for two hours. Then you come outside and listen to me. Then you come outside and you find out your car is locked. And you can't get in. Now, at this time, 
your daughter is laying on there, totally dependent on you. She can't open a car door like a normal 12-year-old or 13-year-old. Okay? She relies on mom. Okay, now listen to me. Now, so Larry goes and gets a couple shims and tries to get into the car. Then he tell, asks you, Did that just come out? Sure. He asks you, Do you want me to break a window? To which you reply, It's cheaper to go into town. Listen to me. Go into town and get the keys from your house. So then, I did. Listen, listen, okay, listen. So then, both of you, two supposedly responsible adults, Climb your butts up in the truck and leave. And where was the third, where was your little thirteen year old daughter? In the back seat of a locked car. And I the air conditioner was on, and I didn't know the air conditioner was not on. God was the air conditioner. What happened if the car caught fire? She could not defend herself. I thought you were asleep. What would have happened if she had a seizure? Oh, I know, I know, I believe me, I, I don't even, okay, I don't, so then, you take that trip all the way to your house, over there on Academy Road, all the way from Low Country Highway, you drive yourselves, both of you, you didn't even bother to stay with your child, you drove yourselves all the way to low, all the way to. I wanted, I wanted to find the keys to have some stuff. I, just, I, I wanted to get back to where it was impossible. Uh, it was an accident. It was a horrible, horrible accident. You know something? It has become, it has become miraculously aware to me in my 32 years in public safety that children get hurt or killed due to adult negligence. This isn't an accident. This is an act of stupidity. So let me explain this to you, okay? So you guys drive all the way to your house on Academy, then turn around and come all the way back. Now, how many hours has passed? If you were in the house for two hours, or you were in the house, I'm telling you what he's telling me, okay? At least two hours. If you were in there for at least two hours, then it took him 15 or 20 minutes to piss around with that car trying to get it open. Then you drive all the way to Academy. How long does that trip take? How long does that trip take? I don't know. 30 minutes. I was your buzz to the window. I just sure. that. I know. No, 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 no. What did you tell me? It's cheaper for you to go get your key. Because I thought the air conditioner was on. I thought she was... I don't care if it was blowing all the air. You're right. You're right. I know. I know. I you left a helpless child. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, my God. I know. I know. Don't, don't, don't touch me. Do not put your hands on me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You left a helpless child by herself in an automobile that was running. That supposedly the air conditioner was on. I, we haven't figured that part out yet. It was. It was. And then you drove all the way in here. Takes about forty. I know. I know. Takes about forty-five minutes. So that's forty-five minutes one way. That's an hour and a half, two ways. So now we're up to about three and a half, four hours. From there, and from there to my house, about 20 minutes. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I know it's not. Okay. It doesn't now, matter. Now, you get back. You have to play with the lock to get it open. Right? Okay, so you play with the lock. You get it open. And she was gone. Yeah, she was gone. She was gone. I know. Uh, I know. That's my baby. I was our sole caregiver for 13 years. I'm so sorry to hear that. I made a worse mistake in my life. Yes, you sure did. I want to do So, now. So, now. You... Get back there. You take her. You, who took who took her out of the car? You took her out of the car, yeah. and you laid her on the ground. I was holding her. 
I, I told her I was screaming, and they were calling 911. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I laid her down that if you open that door, you saw what I had to see. I know, I know, my God, I know, sir, I know, I know, I can't believe it, I can't believe it happened. You know something, you've done an awful lot of whining and I ain't seen a tear once. You can't even conjure up a tear. I have been crying. Sir, you just don't know. I'm at my baby. I am I'm about to die over her. I'll tell you something right now. Died over her. I'll tell you something right now. I stood out there all this time I've been out there. And I stood out there and I watched absolute total strangers cry over that child more than I've seen you. No, man. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Oh, yeah. She had my heart and soul, and I was a good mother to her. I, mean, I was a real good mother. A good mother? I, listen to me. I know. Listen, a good mother? Really? <laughs> does not use illegal narcotics while she's in the care of a child, child who is completely dependent on you. Correct? A good mother does not put her child in the car and leave her in the car for the period that that child was in the car. One, why did you even put her in the car if you were going to go back? Why didn't you pick her up and bring her back into the house? I wasn't planning on being in there that long. And I but you were. I don't think I was in there that long. I don't. But you were. I know. I know. I messed up. I know. I know. I know. You messed up and your child I paid for it. That poor little girl know, is paid for. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I know. I don't care what happens to me. I deserve whatever. Good thing you did. I'm glad you said that. Now, here we're going to start over. You're going to tell me the story from beginning to end, and you're not going to leave anything out, and we're not going to. Okay. Sugarcoat this thing. I want to know exactly what took place. Speak up. I'm already here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Christina's asleep. And, uh, Christina's asleep where? In the living room. Okay. On the couch. Okay. Covered up. Mm-hmm. She has her bottle and everything. Mm-hmm. And um, she, um, I go to the room there. I, you gotta stop that because I can't hear you. I have never, never tried anything before. Never in my life. And whenever the, the stuff does come back, if there's anything in it, it won't be much. I I mean, once, and that was it. Just to try it. Just. And I'm stupid. I was stupid. And how did you try it? What did you do? Um, I, I couldn't. I've never done it before, so I couldn't. So. He put it in my cool and what copy of the Kool-Aid. Coffee but, Kool-Aid. Yeah, that, 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 and that was it. You know, this so I we so, so we could stay awake and a while, you know, because we don't never really get to see each other that much. Well, I thought you went to sleep. And you, told me you went to sleep at eleven o'clock. To watch, we was gonna watch TV. So uh-huh. he said it would take. He said he said it make you stay awake. It don't make me stay awake. It made me. I, I went on to sleep. Okay. What, what, what time you went to sleep? I don't know. Okay. And then everything was fine this morning. I, you know, I woke up. Everything's fine. I didn't, I didn't even feel any different at all. Mm-hmm. And but I don't think I left her in that car for two hours. What time did you get up? Maybe about nine nine thirty. What time did you start getting ready to leave? About maybe a little at about three o'clock maybe. Three o'clock. Um, as in and maybe I mean I did not look at. Okay. I know that um, Larry called my roommate oh, from this um, because I wanted to make sure that the keys were where I thought they were before we, mm-hmm. you know, so we could just grab them and come back. Mm-hmm. Can we just back up? I just wanted a little clarification. Mm-hmm. When you're leaving, 
Was that at the time you were planning to leave, or did something happen no. as to why you were leaving? No, I mean, we... We were, we were talking a little bit. He said he'd call me back later. We would come, come back later. He was either going to come by the house. But what she's getting at is what was the conversation in reference to your affair or you side piece, whatever? The non affair that never happened. That well, all that happened. I'm just telling you what he's telling me, so that's what she's getting at. Well, what was the question? I'm sorry. See, we, we were talking, we, but we weren't even arguing. We were like, we're going to take a break. I'll, I'll call you later. So were you guys going back and forth having this conversation, or was this like he said something, you said something, and it was over? Pretty much, yeah. So there's no going back and forth? No. No crying, no forgive me, oh, no taking that, back? That was a little bit of crying, but it went, it went like a big, long, drawn-out thing. And where was Christina when all this was happening? In the car. In the car. Oh my God. Yes, in the car. I didn't know that the doors were locked. I did not know that the doors were locked. I didn't know. I did not know that the doors were locked. And I tried to get in. And we tried. We tried to get in. We tried. Oh my God. We tried. Okay. So you're leaving. Take me back to there. You're leaving. Walk me through now where we're going. Who's taking her out to the car? What's going on? He took her out to the car. Okay. And he shut. He closed the door. He closed the door. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I thought. I think he did. I don't know which one of us closed the door. I mean, it's, it's a fur. But he took her out to the car, and he left. Did anybody put a seatbelt on her? Uh, yeah, he always puts a seatbelt on her. Did I see him put the seatbelt on her? No, but he always put a seatbelt on her, and she was laying down. He okay, always, so you're assuming he put the seatbelt on her. Yeah, he always buckles her up. Yeah. He does, so he always buckles her up. He always buckles her up. I always okay. buckle her up. Well, but I didn't put her on Okay, so, so now, so... Then you all take the trip, da 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 da, all the way to listen to me. You take the trip to Academy Road, you come back, you get the car open. What do you see when you open the car up? Huh? How did she land? She, she, she was still laying in the seat, but her head was kind of hanging off the, off the seat. And it was hot in the back seat, it was hot. With the air conditioner was on. I mean, I had air conditioner. How was it hot in the back seat if the air conditioner was on? I cut the air conditioner on. I cut the air conditioner on. I cut the air conditioner on. When I put the air conditioner on, when the air put in the car, I cranked it up. I cut on the AC. About 10 minutes later, he brought it out. I should have checked. I should have checked. I should have checked on her. I didn't. I should have made sure that the door. And I always use it. The window is always down. And yes, I should have busted the window. God help me. I should have busted the window, but I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. I got it on. I got it on. So. You put her in the car. You had her, well, Larry put her in the car because you were supposed to be leaving, right? That was the reason why you put her in the car? Well, if you weren't planning on leaving, why put her in the car in the first place? I was planning on leaving. I wasn't planning on okay. getting around and talking to him All right. more like I did. I was planning on leaving. So she just wasn't in the way, and you wanted to work this out with Larry? Hell no, no, she, no. Because Christina, she said she watches. She's got cartoons out there. She'll sit and watch cartoons. Christina is never in the way. Never in the way. Never. Can she scream for help? She can cry. Yeah. No, can she scream for help? Can she say the actual yeah, she words? Help. help. How does she? How does she communicate? She um crawls and walks her, like if she wants her remote, she goes and gets it and hands it to us and she wants her set to go. She because she can walk on her knees. So if she was crying for help and you were in the house. Who was going to hear her? And if she was crying for help when you went to your house to get the keys with Larry, who was going to hear her? Let me ask you a question, Ruth. 
How often do you leave her home alone? Never. She always has a sitter. Always. Let me finish my question. How about that? Okay. How often do you leave her at home in her room alone? In her room? Yeah. Uh, she, she uh, her, she's in a room, but the door stays open. But I'm always there. Then why was the door closed at Larry's when she was on the couch? We we closed it so the dog couldn't get out. We closed we closed it so the dog couldn't whenever the cops were there. She was not she's not in there with the door closed. But um, whenever the cops got there. We, I put Harley in there and closed the door. The dog. So when Christina was sleeping on the couch last night, the door to the living room was open or closed? It was open. It stayed Where was the dog? The dog is sleeping in, uh, in on the little, um, there's a bed over by the kennel that the dog sleeps on at night time. Over by what kennel? The kennel in the hallway? Yes, yeah, sir. That I didn't bed. see a bed over there. Yeah. You're talking about that big? That big thing. So, <laughs> what keeps the dog from going in there at night if the door is open? The dog don't bother Christina. I thought that's why you said you, you, you closed the door. I closed the door when the cops got there okay. today. Okay. Because they, they wanted something to do with the dog. They wanted, and so I put the dog in and closed the door then. Okay, so at home, how often do you leave her alone in her room with the door closed? And if I'm asking questions, it's because I already know the answer. I do close the door when I put her to sleep at night time, but I'm right across the hall and my door stays open, but only because she gets up and she crawls and she'll fall all over the dang on the house if I don't close the door. Never thought about putting up a booby gate? And she she crawls right she, right over right right over yeah okay. okay and once you put her to bed ninety nine percent of the time she stays in there and she goes to sleep <laughs> she stays there and she goes like and if she does get up she'll go like knock at the door and I hear her because she's epileptic too and I'm so used to hearing her immediately oh God. what's her medical diagnosis she has developmental delays. Epilepsy. So when when was her last seizure? Over five years ago. She has done so good. She has had a seizure in over five years. So she's got developmental delays and epilepsy. That's it? Yes, sir. That's it. That's all she's been diagnosed as. What happened when she lost oxygen to her brain before she was born? So her brain don't communicate well with her body, but it's just a Oh my God, I can't believe I can't believe I was doing it. That was a stupid, horrific, stupid, stupid mistake. Why didn't you just get in the car and leave? What do you mean? Because we were so. But I thought you went inside just to get your cigarette. And then we started talking. I can't go. And you see, we were just talking. So at any point while you were talking, did her in the car register that that wasn't a good idea? Okay, but the air conditioner was on and she, she had a bottle. And she was asleep. She was taking a nap. She wasn't awake. Had she been awake, I would have went out there with her, but she was asleep. She was taking a nap. Where were you talking at in the house? The kitchen. And then, and then I went to the bedroom to make, make sure that um, we didn't have any more dirty clothes in there, you know, out of the camper and stuff like that. But then, uh, and then I ended up just leaving. Or trying to leave, and that's when I told him the doors were up. And, we, and they helped me get in there. So you knew she was in the car the whole time? Yes. And like I said, she was taking a nap. She was asleep. 
que me lo doy. Me lo doy de ahora. Me voy a ir. Si no te lo doy. How do you know she was asleep? Well, she was in the same position. I, you know, she, she was so asleep. I, I, I believe she was so asleep. I'm sorry. I believe she was so asleep. I can't believe she said she was. So. And, um, I haven't been able to pick her up much lately. We've been going out at that layer a lot because he can pick her up in there because... I got a bad kidney infection that was swollen, and I was told I shouldn't be picking her up too much. So he's been helping me a lot with her. He puts her in a car and, and takes her out and stuff. So we picked her up yesterday from the babysitters, right? Yesterday. Well, I mean, I didn't pick her with it. Was just, the babysitter comes to my house. Okay, but what, what I'm saying is, so, we, we, so you went from there to Larry's house, and that's where you've been for the whole time. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I should have busted the window. I, should, I wish I would have busted the window immediately. Immediately, I should have busted the window. I know. I know. Oh, I'm So how do you know Christina was asleep when you put her in, or when Larry put her in the car today? Uh, because he, when she got, he got off the couch, she was taking her nap, and he put her in the car. She was still, she was asleep. Was she breathing? Yes. How do you know? Because she was moving her little head around and getting comfortable. She was fine. She was fine. She was fine, darling. She was fine. I promise you she was fine. <laughs> oh my God. Talk to me about one Adderall. All you do is try to take a spin off of you. No, I'm not. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Well, tell me wrong. what happened. How long was this baby dead? What happened? Well, I went to leave. At the door for life. You tell me what happened. This may have a lot to do with me. You telling me the wrong information. The doors were locked. Okay. And um, so they were trying to get in the car. Can I tell you the odor of this little girl? Can I tell you? But must have been for me in the car because I washed my child every fucking hour. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what you want to hear. But listen, I got a job to tell you and to let you know and to speak for this baby because she's not able to and never will again. Okay? Accidents happen. This is an accident that's not supposed to happen. This was no accident. This was, if you want to sit there and dope and play games and you and Larry fight and you run around and this and that, turn your baby over to somebody that can take care of it. Don't let us have to come to the babies dead in a car. I've got medical problems. you got big damn medical problems. you got something. And I haven't been able to pick her up and lift her like I used to. So Larry's been helping out. I used to, I usually pick her up and put her in the car. I usually do it. I didn't today. Uh, okay, listen. So if you turn, you turn the car off. Does anybody turn the car off, Rita? The AC wasn't on. This baby did not yes, die with yes, the AC on. Right. Yes, I, What are you trying to tell me then? What's that mean? You turn the AC off. Could anybody turn the AC off? I'm trying to understand. Okay. Okay. Be right back with you one moment. Andy. Ready to turn around, put your hands oh behind your back. God. You're under arrest for the charge of homicide. Oh my God, no! Your actions and the actions of Mr. King led to the death of your daughter. And it pains me to call her your daughter. Oh my God, my poor baby. It was an accident, I swear to God. It was an accident. 
One of the accidents. Six leaves. hours of laying in the car. I was laying there and did that. Yeah, it was. I just went to the yeah, door and it. watched it. It was a child. It was a twelve year old child. It was six on the hours. Oh my God. Six hours. Oh my God. No. You put her in that car at eleven o'clock. Eleven a.m. and did not oh get her God. out of that car. Oh my God. Oh no, my baby, my poor baby. Oh my God! Somebody got in her eye. I can't. I, I can't did do it. Did you lock them down? They're, I did not double lock them. Turn around. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! I was just in a bad dream. Oh my God! No, it's not a bad dream. I know. Wake up! Dreams over. It's a nightmare. Oh my God.